what is the best way to teach the rules for dividing negative numbers? I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All right, so what we're going to do, and let me get big right here. What we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of what the, uh, the information that students already know, which is they already know the rules for multiplying negative numbers. They've already learned it. So what we're going to do is we're going to begin by kind of like practicing what students already know. So for example, we're going to say, well, we know that positive uh, four times positive five is equal to positive 20. And I am deliberately using those positive signs there because we really want to emphasize the positives and the negatives for this lesson because ultimately we want to find the rule for dividing. And then we want to remind uh, uh, students like, oh, what is, what about negative six times negative three? And I'm letting students refresh their memory. As far as they are concerned at this point, they just think they are practicing something that they just recently learned. And then we might say, okay, well, how about, uh, how about positive uh, seven times negative four? And the students go, oh yeah, 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 that's negative 28. And then lastly, uh, oh, how about a negative nine times uh, positive four equals negative 36. All right, so at this point, we have the students kind of practicing multiplicate, practicing multiplication, all right? And the point of that is because we want to get students um, to, they're essentially giving us the data that they're going to then use to discover the patterns for division. And here's what I mean by that. At this point, we're going to want to remind students that back in third grade, they learned that multiplication and division were kind of like opposites. And in third grade, they learned that if four times five is equal to 20, then 20 divided by five is equal to four. So let's write that down. Oh, positive, oopsies, let me grab my pen, positive 20 divided by positive five is equal to positive four. Now, of course, remember uh, that also they could have done positive 20 divided by positive four is equal to negative five. And that is a true statement. But for right now, uh, we're really just going to kind of keep it straight going backwards. And so any students who, who ask, well, what about if I did 20 divided by four? You could say, yeah, that's, that's, that's okay. But for the sake of our conversation today, let's only focus on 20 divided by five is four. Now, given that piece of information, the question is, all right, what would the division statement be for negative six times negative three is equal to positive 18? And of course, after a little bit of grappling, students are gonna say, oh, that's positive 18 divided by negative three is equal to negative six. And then we're gonna say, all right, what about down here? What about positive seven times negative four is equal to negative 28? We would say, oh, well that's negative 28 divided by negative four is equal to positive seven. And then lastly, our last division statement would be negative 36 divided by positive four is equal to negative nine, all right? And so at this point, we are ready to have students begin to look for the patterns in the division statements. So I might say, all right, everybody, look for the patterns in division. I'm gonna get crickets. I always get crickets because there's just, if you look at the table, there's just so much data going going on up there. So I'm gonna help them out a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I am going to grab all of the multiplication problems and I'm gonna get them out of the way right here. I'm just moving them out of the way here. 
And the last one I have is right there. All right, so now that I've moved the division, uh, multiplication problems out of the way, I might kind of smoosh the division statements a little closer to each other. All right, right here. Good enough. Now let's look at the uh, division. Does anybody see a pattern now? At this point, we sometimes we have students who start to recognize the they see the pattern, but other times I still have to move them together even more. And now let's look. <laughs> and what do we see? And oh my goodness. Now we start to see that, oh, look at this. When the signs are both positive, the answer is positive. And when the signs are both negative, the answer is positive. In other words, when the signs are the same, same signs is positive. Gives us a positive quotient. And then the question is, all right, what about over here, what do we see? And we see, oh, a positive divided by a negative is a negative, and a negative divided by a positive is a negative. In other words, when the signs are different, it gives us a negative. When the signs are different, it gives us a negative. So we'll write that down. Different signs, different signs is negative. All right, and look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, in no time at all, using only the rules for multiplication that students figured out, they can then backtrack to write four, and I'll get out of the way, four true division sentences using the, the known information for multiplication. And then once they know those four division sentences, they can then find the pattern, which turns out it's, a lot, it's the same rules as div, uh, multiplication. When the signs are the same, the answer is positive. When the two signs are different, the answer is negative. And that ends our little uh, super short lesson on how to discover the rules for dividing negative, positive, uh, negative and positive numbers. Beautiful.